All right, well, thank you for taking the time out to take a look at one of our videos. I'm going to try to have a few new ones here, but uh, make sure you uh, hit the uh, subscribe button down here in the corner to subscribe to our videos. We'll try to have some new things here in the future. Uh, I've been needing to do a spring compressor, compressor uh, video on the Yamaha Secondary. This is actually off an X2 uh, 19 model, but the process is the same whether it is a Rhino 700, 660, X2, everything. So I just been wanting to show you how to use a tool on it to keep people from messing up their, their tool. They've been bending the bail portion. So I mounted ours here on our table and you put your secondary in it. All right, sorry about the little noise. It's just these microphones pick up every little thing. Then you just kind of center it, set your bail down on it. Try to get it centered. Uh, you got a washer that come with your compressor. I use a couple old uh, secondary rollers off of a razor uh, clutch just to kind of take up space and keep my tool from rubbing on it, which is what the washer does. All right. All right, now here's, here's where a lot of people mess up. Well, there's one piece of it and I'll show you the other piece is you're not compressing anything right here. You're actually just, that's enough, we're done. Because this spring retainer is already as far as it will go. So at this point, you just make sure that your uh, tool is not touching that nut. And I'm going to move it just a shade. All right, now, what I've been using for a long time is a chisel. If you don't have a chisel, a big heavy screwdriver, but you take your chisel and you get right here on the edge of this nut. Um, and so what, like I said, on the end of the nut there, and take your chisel and hit it. All right, mine was a little tough. Yours may be too. And if it's not touching, which mine seems to be, there we go. I'm able to get it off of my finger. Oh. Trying to get it off my fingers without hitting it again, but you may hit it again to get it going. Now I'm able to get it off of my fingers or close to it. Now you may ask yourself, why is there not much more room in this compressor? Because we use this compressor on a lot of vehicles, from Razors to Rangers to Yamaha, whatever. So it's just, we can only make it so big and still use it on other things. So it's just not a whole lot of room on these new X2s. Now 660, 700 is a little bit more room. There we go. All right, our nut's finally loose. Then just back off. Take this off, nut off, and, and I, I could walk around, but kind of get the picture of what the nut looks like, and, and basically you're just, when you're doing it, you're just hitting it right on that edge. Spring retainer, and if you're changing springs, take old spring out. Also, if you're doing uh, slippery washers, today's day, we don't have slippery washers for X2, X4, but we do for rhinos, but point is, whether or ever this video is used, if you're putting spring in, now's the time. If you were taking this apart, of course we have another video for cleaning, then you would simply pry this uh, spring cup up like I'm doing right here, and it pops up and then get the pins out and get it apart. You can follow that video. All right, one thing I wanna show you about this uh, retainer and talking about people bending it, is that's it, that's as far as it goes. And the nut is just tightening this against its stop and the springs in between. All right, so put our new spring on, assuming that was a new spring. Put your spring retainer back on, your nut on. Probably want to put it back on the same way you took it off because it's smooth on the bottom and you may wreck it just a little bit on the edges from your uh, uh, chisel. All right, I'm gonna try to get this a little more centered than I did a minute ago. Uh, when you're doing this for yourself, not on video, it seems to go smoother. 
right now we're doing a compression or compressing so we get down now if you get it out of whack and I, there we go I can kind of manipulate it over you can always take your hammer and hit it around to get that hole in, in this uh, thing to line back up now I feel it bottoming out once again we're not going that's why people bend these all right so I see get this started and I may get nowhere close all right I still ain't close there we go now it moves freely inside that circle so even I don't get it right and once it bottoms out with your fingers take your chisel once again go back the other way and you're gonna see that it's, it just won't go much further I gave it a good once and I love these handles these new handles I don't know when we made them but it'll just spin off take that off and you're done so this can go back on my X2 uh, got any questions about this give me a call here at Hunter Works and I appreciate you watching and once again like I said make sure you subscribe like our video we got comments on the video put them right here and uh, be glad to help you any way we can